My name is Levi Parker. I started rapping when I was 15 and I was terrible, but I felt God leading me. So I dropped my first song in 2018 with a $75 feature from a new artist, John Keith. Even though the song sucked, it got like 20,000 streams, which was a big deal for me. I kept dropping singles and started to grow a real following. I had more streams than some of my favorite rappers, but I still felt like I had no respect from those artists. Eventually, I figured out that my music sucked, so when I met Charlie Powers at John Keith's Olympus listening party, I asked if I could hire him to executive produce my first mixtape, The Holy Hand Grenade Tapes. During the time we were working on the project, I stopped dropping music and my streams fell off drastically. Four years ago today, we finally put out The Holy Hand Grenade Tapes, and it was received extremely well. Levi, bro, you have one of the freshest and most exciting voices in the Christian hip hop scene is Levi Parker right now. Who are the biggest snubs for Rapzilla's 2021 freshman list? How is Levi Parker not on there? Everyone was telling me how much I had grown and how mature the record sounded, but I was caught off guard by the question that kept popping up over and over again. What are you gonna do next? I honestly didn't know. I finally proved that I had potential, but I had no idea what I was gonna do with it. I started dropping singles again, did a few shows, and worked with other rising artists, hoping that would keep the momentum, although it all felt unsustainable. I also had a handful of albums I worked on, but criticized each one to the point I couldn't finish anything. I was constantly told by the people around me that I respected that I had something special, but that pressure began to cripple me. I've been frozen ever since. Looking back at my underwhelming music career, the Holy Hand Grenade Tapes was my proudest moment. It was the first time I wasn't embarrassed to show my music to friends and family and the first time my peers started to take me seriously. It was also the first time I poured my heart out on a record. As fun as the project was, the underlying themes of fractured relationships and hate for the church were an honest look at where I was at and sort of opened a chapter that was never closed. This project was a huge piece of my life that so many people were involved with and I'm glad to say that it still holds up today. For now, I just want to take a moment to celebrate the Holy Hand Grenade Tapes and I encourage you to give it a listen, but that question still haunts me. What are you going to do next? <laughs>